All right, y'all. So check this out right quick before we get into uh, this podcast right quick. Check this out. Now, you guys know how recruiters recruit, right? They recruit all sorts of ways. They they use all sorts of tactics to get a potential driver to come aboard with their companies. Now, some recruiters are good. Some recruiters are bad. Some is just downright deceitful. But what if you get information via email that pretty much explains what the company is about, but they explain it to you vaguely? Well, we're going to talk about that in this episode of Lockout Men Podcast. Yeah, and then I got into an entanglement with August. An entanglement with August. An entanglement with August. An entanglement. An entanglement. An entanglement with August. An entanglement with August. What's up, everybody? Lockout Men here, and welcome back to another episode of Lockout Men Podcast. It's the podcast for the truckers. You know what I'm saying? The positive trucker. It's talking positive things. You know, we do the Karens over here. We do the calls over here. We do the interviews over here. And if you like this video and others, give it a like. Give it a thumbs up. And hook a brother up with some coffee. The link is in the description. Yes, uh, yes, uh, I am thirsty. Right All right, so check it out, y'all. Check it out. I got... I got an email and actually it's the same. It's like a, a can email from, from all these trucking companies that just sends you pretty much the same email. I happen to go online and look on my Instagram and I happen to see party hard got the same email from the same guy. Some dude named Thomas Sleeder, Slanlander, Slanlander. I don't know. I, I I guess I'll find out his name. But uh, I just I got this email from Swift. It says Swift Transportation is seeking experienced drivers willing to unload freight for a dedicated position that keeps you regional and home on a weekly basis. There's a performance based paycheck that allows you to average keyword average between uh up to remember those keywords y'all average uh in between up to sort of remember those keywords that i'm telling you because those keywords is going to be pretty important when you talk to a recruiter about their company and what they have what they have to offer so they say here, average between $1,200 and $1,400 a week, which ain't bad, right? You like $1,200 and $1,400 a week. You figure $1,200 minus $300 in taxes and, and other expenses, you're going to bring home a nice little $900 check. Right. Are you good with that? Are, are you good with, uh, with $900? Or are you good with over a thousand? Some of you are, some of you aren't. Some of you haven't even seen that kind of money before. I mean, some of you coming off of making five, six hundred dollars a week, you know, maybe, maybe seven, but now you got an extra three, an extra four hundred dollars to work with. Man, what what would you do with that kind of money? Maybe you would pay more bills save the money or whatever right you like that you average around 1200 to 1400 dollars a week now a 1400 dollars paycheck may get you a grand it may get you a grand maybe 1100 after 300 dollars uh expenses. all right are you good with that now it says here that it's a great way to get paid oh as per week 
as a great way to get paid for a small exercise. Hmm. Small exercise. You would get paid for exercising. In other words, what they're not telling you is that you're going to be breaking your back for that money. All right. I'm just saying. Uh, to explore this opportunity further, call me at 602-477-3527. Thomas Sleater, Slanlander at Swift Transportation. Now, you see the vagueness in that email. And, and what I mean by vagueness is it's a dedicated position unloading freight. Okay, well, who are you unloading for? Uh, you're not telling me exactly who I'm unloading for. Now, I know, I know who you're unloading for, but I want you to tell me in the email, who am I unloading for? If it's the dollar accounts, then boom, automatically, you know, I don't want to fuck with that. You know, I seen those dollar accounts you know what i'm saying i seen the way they load them and i seen the way they unload them i seen places where you gotta go to unload these things look not only the places where you gotta unload you gotta some of them are in plazas you gotta work around cars you gotta blindside back it's a lot of stuff that you gotta do with these dollar accounts man and yeah small exercise nah ain't nothing small about that bro nah ain't nothing small about that you will be working all right you're going to be working for that 1200 1400 uh 1400 uh dollar uh paychecks you're going to be working for them you're not going to be sitting on your ass all day mm -mm. they don't tell you that they just say a small exercise would get you 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 get paid for a small exercise no nah, bro Bruh. your ass is going to be working to empty out a 53 foot trailer at maybe three different stops i'm just saying let me know be stop being vague all right it's a regional position and you're home on a weekly basis you're home tired on a weekly basis bruh, bruh. five days a week unloading about three stores a day by hand Bruh, you're Bruh. gonna be, uh, you're gonna be tired. You're gonna be tired when you get home. You ain't gonna have no time for your family, no time to do some work around the house. Hell, why you wanna do work around the house after you just got finished unloading five days a week worth of trailers at these dollar stores? Bruh. Now let's talk about the dollar store themselves. Some of them, some of them guys don't even wanna help. I've seen plenty of videos of of the guys that do, that drivers that do these dollar stores that be like, man, these fa these uh family dollar people don't even come out. They don't want to come out and help. I gotta wait. You, I I be here. Store opens at nine o'clock. I gotta wait until until twelve, which is on my clock, by the way. Running my clock out, by the way. I'm just saying. Just saying, the vagueness of this of this email. There's a performance-based paychecks that allow you to average between twelve hundred and fourteen hundred dollars per week. Performance base. That's another key word that you guys gotta uh, remember too. Performance-based paychecks. I don't want no performance-based paychecks. Just give me what just give me what I'm worth. If you're gonna give me 45 cent a mile, 45 cent a mile is what I'm anticipating on getting. Not 45 cent a mile including incentives, which makes your base pay maybe around 37 cent or less. Cause you gotta realize something. Trucking, anything liable to happen. You know, 
performance based is like you drive safely uh you drive you drive safely you don't get no dot uh citations and you don't get no tickets but when you pull up in the dot uh inspection area and they find just the littlest thing that's wrong with your truck poof no more bonus he's gone no more bonus especially if especially if it's the type of company that gives you a bonus on a quarterly basis that means three months on a quarterly basis so something might happen on that day which mess up your quarterly bonus you got to go a full three months without that bonus I'm just saying you know you let's say you you bumped into one of them uh bumper those bumper strips and let's just say you take it off that's that's they're gonna they're gonna fault you for that you're not gonna get your bonus you get a ticket on your personal driver's license you're not gonna get your bonus you get you you hard now some companies got they 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 really particular on how you get the bonus they don't tell you that they don't tell you that let's say you hard break and the camera catch it you get a phone call from safety hey uh you, you you got a critical event uh because of that critical event you lost your bonus for a hard breaking bruh bruh I mean, people hard break all the time, bro. Bruh. Come on now, for a hard breaking, you gonna you gonna take my bonus away from me? Really, nigga? Or how about or how about a critical event hard turning? Now you're not supposed to hard turn anyway. I get it. Or how about a critical event of speeding? You know, now the trucks is governed at a certain speed, and the critical event don't catch you into a certain speed so let's say you govern that 65 but you're going down a hill up to 70 okay speed limit is 70 now but being that your truck is governed at 65 and you're doing 70 you're considered speeding and just like that your your bonus is gone performance based paychecks that allow you to get an average between twelve hundred and fourteen hundred dollars a week all right so suppose you don't get those performances and you still breaking your back unloading the tra i mean unloading the trailer at these dollar accounts and now you only bring it home six hundred dollars seven hundred dollars I'm just saying. So I am curious to know. I am curious. Yes, I am. I am curious to know. I would like to ask Thomas Slanlander a few questions. If he's a if he's available, of course. I'm just saying. Transportation. This is help you. Hey. How's it going, bro? Hey, it's going good, man. What can I do for you? Hey, I uh, I got this email, uh, that that you guys uh send out. Uh, I'm I'm curious to know more uh know about know more about the position that you uh that you're seeking. Uh, it says here that it's unloading freight for a dedicated position. Can you uh be a little bit more clear on the on the dedicated position that is? Yeah, where, where are you calling from? Where do you live? I stay in Ohio, Cleveland. Okay. Yeah, so um, I've got a, uh, just trying to pull it up right here, Family Dollar, I believe it is. It could be Dollar Tree. I'm just trying to make sure I'm being specific on the name for you. Yeah, it's Dollar Tree out of uh, Marengo, Ohio. Out, out, and they're paying out of, 75 cents per mile. Wait, wait, wait. Out of where, Ohio? I'm sorry. Marengo. Bar Marengo, Ohio. Marengo? Lar yeah, Marengo. Mar I know it's the first I've heard of it myself. I'll tell you where that's near to. Yeah, I stay in Ohio, and these little towns, I haven't even heard of. I haven't heard of Marengo. I'm, I'm gonna have to look that up. But yeah. anyway, but anyway, uh, it's with an A, so it's 
So maybe I, I maybe it's Marengo, but Marengo is uh, a little bit uh, northeast of Columbus. Oh, okay. So if you're coming from Mansfield into Columbus, it's right there in the 71. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, all right, go ahead. Tell me a little bit more uh, about the account. So they're paying 75 cents per mile, and um, what they're doing is they're paying you $250 per unload. Hmm. And that's kind of where the, uh, the performance incentive's coming from is, depending on your hustle, um, you should be able to typically unload around three loads per week. Um, that that's going to be bringing in between thirteen to thirteen fifty as a weekly average, hmm. running for this family dollar position. Okay, so or excuse me, Dollar Tree. I, I keep mixing them up, but Dollar Tree is what it is. Okay, so this is so this is uh so this is uh driver uh driver unload uh three stops. Yeah, it is driver unload. What you're doing is you're taking boxes, you're hand unloading boxes onto rollers, mm -hmm. and so rollers are kind of like little bit of a conveyor system in a sense and so you're just pushing the boxes down the rollers oh okay 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 um and you say i you say the average is about what 13 uh 1300 because it says here it's about uh 12 to 1400 yeah uh the yeah, average earnings per week that they have here on my dedicated high request is 13 to 1350 um, my other Dollar Tree positions that they do average between twelve to fourteen. This one narrowed it in to thirteen to thirteen fifty, just because it's a smaller delivering distance. You're only uh, running within a two hundred mile radius. Um, a lot of the times, my other Dollar Tree and Family Dollars will extend out further uh, as far as uh, their delivery areas, but this one's a little bit more of a, a cookie cut. All right, is there is there any other incent uh, incentives in that, or is just uh, two hundred dollars just to unload the trailer. Uh, it's the seventy-five cents per mile that you'll be making, and then just the two hundred and fifty dollars per unload. And right. you're normally looking at an average of three stops per load. All right, so there's so there's nothing more, nothing more, uh, nothing more in that seventy-five cent per mile because of the short miles, and and two hundred and fifty dollars per unload on the, on the trailer. Correct. Okay. Yes, okay. Sir. Now let me ask you this question: What what makes you guys different than the other companies that's doing the same thing, like Hogan, uh, uh, U.S. Express? I think Martin has a dollar account too. So we'll, we'll yep. make we'll, we'll, uh, obviously we negotiate our contracts differently, and so uh, we do make sure that price for our drivers is a competitive price. So a lot of times, um, like for instance, my um, Dollar Tree out of St. George, uh, Sierra England's another dedicated customer out there, and I get a lot of their drivers because they find out that they can actually average between 100 to 200 dollars more per week based on our performance incentives that we have in play versus what they're offering. So some companies do shell um, a little bit more of that money from the contract depending on how they negotiated it. And then Swift, obviously the biggest difference is the umbrella that you're going to be running under is um, we're a reputable company to be with. We've been doing this for over 50 years. We're the largest full truckload carrier. Um, so we've got a lot of resources um, to include benefits that you can tap into because we have a matching 401k. We're fully vested on it after just five years. And uh, we have an employee stock purchase plan. So our stock is um, offers a dividend. We cover the brokerage fees and even give it to you at a discounted rate being an employee. Mm -hmm. And uh, we even have a drive for a degree program. You or your spouse can actually enroll in online classes through Swift, mm -hmm. and uh, it's fully paid tuition through Southern New Hampshire University, who we partner with. And um, so that's, that's a huge incentive that Swift just started here this past year. And uh, we've got other little vendor discounts you can take advantage of, um, discounts with like Wyndham Hotels, rental cars, cell phone carriers, those kind of things. But, but yeah, and just the overall equipment. Um, you okay. have no equipment for you as well. Now let me ask you. Now, now let me ask you this. Now, this this is just a funny question. Don't take it the wrong way. But what if I what if I do decide to come on and 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 do the dollar accounts? Can I bring somebody or can I like? Well, let me ask you. It's a two part. So to help me unload the trailer, which would be me by myself. But if I decide to bring somebody with me to help me unload the trailer. And I pay them out of my pocket. Can I do that? Yeah, you're allowed to have a rider on your truck with you. The rider can't join you until after 30 days. Um, 
But yeah, if you wanted to have a rider and if they were willing to assist you, uh, what you arrange with that individual, whether they're a family member, a friend, or um, a spouse, obviously, yeah. uh, that, oh. that's between you and your, your co-partner at that point in the cab with you. Oh, but okay. They're not going to be an employee within Swift, so that's going to be the one thing that you're going to have to keep in mind is the fact that they're not an employee. Um, you still have to cover their insurance while they're on the truck with you, mm-hmm. and uh, they're, they don't receive any benefits from the company. Oh, okay. Now, what if now what if I decide to uh, ask uh, one of the one of the dollar employees to help me out uh, unloading the truck? Would they be able to do that if if I decide to like pay them out of my pocket, or are they supposed they're to help? They're already anyway? on the receiving end. Are they only on? Yeah, the they're re- already on the receiving end. Are they on the receiving end? Okay. Are, are they? So you're, you're hand loading boxes from the trailer. So you'll take a roller into the trailer. You're hand loading boxes from the trailer onto the rollers, and then they're on the receiving end of those rollers. Um, okay. Within uh, the, the Dollar Tree store, basically stacking up those boxes for themselves. So I'm on a lift gate. So it's a lift gate trailer that I got. It's or not a lift I... gate. Oh, it's not. So a... you're going to have an actual trailer where you're going to have rollers that you're going to take into the the trailer with you. Uh-huh. And those rollers are kind of like an accordion style where they can extend out. And um, as you get further and further into the trailer, you've got those rollers coming with you as you're going further and further into the trailer as you start unloading more and more oh, of it. And okay. you just grab, you're just hand grabbing those boxes and just putting them onto the rollers and just pushing them down the line at that point. All right. Do I got do I got to be on the clock while I'm unloading? Like I, you I talk, are, yes, you are. I, I talk to a few drivers. Like when they, when they first get to their first stop, uh, I, I talk to a. Well, I'm, I don't know if y'all, if you guys do things different amongst, uh, amongst the companies. But I talked to a one guy that, that I don't think it was Swift. I think it was like Hogan or something like that. But that was his first stop, and he kind of, he kind of like inquired that we don't have to start our clock. Do we have to? Do we have to start our clock at the first store, per se? That's more of an operational question. I really don't have a definite answer for you on that. Okay. Um, so okay. I wouldn't be able to lend you one way or another. I really don't know. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, man. Well, like I said, I you know, I I, I get these emails from from a lot of companies, and I you know I just wanted to call because you know, in, in all honesty, I I just see you know I just see the you know, I've just seen it as, you know, vague information. You know, I was just kind of, that's why I called you up and I was like, okay, well, what what, what account you're talking about here? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, as far as, yeah. as, as far as it being dedicated and I get to go home every week, do I get to take the trailer? Do I get to take the truck home or do I got to bring the truck back to, yeah. or I get, I get to take the no, truck. The tractor goes home with you. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, okay. 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 All right. Well, that is something. Yeah, so you're home on a weekly basis, and they're, they work around your 34 resets. So normally, they'll have you home like Friday, Saturday, um, mm-hmm. return back out on the road on Sunday, typically. Oh, okay, okay. So this is not this is not a full weekend, just a 34 hour reset, pretty much. Yeah, you're basically running five days on the job. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Well, hey, thank you, man. I appreciate the time, man. I, I uh, you know, I just wanted to call in and and get a, you know, get a little bit more you know, open information about, uh, about the email that you sent me. So thank you very much though. I appreciate it. Yeah. Anytime. Appreciate your interest. Just the same. All right. Feel free to follow back up with any further questions. Wow. Tenfold, tenfold. I'll do that. Thank you. Hey, take care. All right. Y'all Thomas, uh, Swift transportation, bringing you guys in for the, uh, for the 75 cent a mile. And two hundred and fifty dollars unload for the Dollar Tree account. Now, if you're up in Ohio, it's from I can't even pronounce the name because I don't even know where the city is at. But he said it's outside of Columbus. So, if you're in Cleveland, Columbus, Cincinnati area, something like that, and you're interested in uh, in working out while making $250 per trailer, not per unload, per trailer. So it's $250 per trailer for three stops, but you get 75 cent a mile. 
nothing more, nothing less, and you'll go home with an average. Now, that's not take home. Now, the take home, the gross would be around, he said, it'd be around three, uh, about 350, 300, uh, 1300 to 1350. And then after taxes, you're looking at about roughly between nine and some change and probably a grand and some change. Now, let me interject on this for one hot second, one hot second. You could still make or you could still gross thirteen hundred and fifty dollars without <laughs> without the manual labor. I'm just saying. So do your homework first, fellas, ladies, guys, truckers. Do your homework first. All right. So this is a special episode of Lockout Men Podcast. Thanks to my man Thomas for chiming in and giving us the information that we need so that you guys could better make decisions on that. If you have an email, now listen, if you have an email that that a recruiter sent you and you're not too sure about the information in the email, send the email over to me over to lockoutmenpodcast at gmail.com. I'll read it and maybe I'll I'll, I'll I'll try to get a little bit more information for you. Now, don't make this as a lockout man makes the call video. No, make make the call videos is no more. But this is more of a conversational, informational video. You know what I'm saying? I'm not exposing nobody. I'm pretty much helping getting the getting you to better understand that email. If you get one or if you get a letter or if you see something that you don't that that, that you're not sure of, hit me up. Lockoutmenpodcast at gmail.com or leave it in the comments below. Guys, leave it in the comments below what you think of what you think of uh of that. You is it worth it? Is it something that you look into? Swift is a big company. A lot of Swift drivers out there making Swift money. I'm just saying. All right, so with that in mind, yo, my name is Lockout Man. This is Lockout Man Podcast. I am done. I'm going to get played out yeah, by one of these tracks. I'm not sure what it is. Could be Me For Me. Could be AC The Mogul. Could be Ryan Wolf. Could be Entanglement by I Marquis. Could be one of those. I don't know. But you guys have a good day. Y'all have a blessed day. And I'll come back at y'all with another video. Entanglement with August. An entanglement with August. An entanglement. An entanglement. An entanglement with August. I got into an entanglement with August. An entanglement with August. With August. With August. An entanglement with August. An entanglement with August. An entanglement with August. With August. 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 Entanglement with August, an entanglement with August, an entanglement, an entanglement, an entanglement with August, an entanglement with August, an entanglement with August, an entanglement, an entanglement, an entanglement with August.